since 1940, uh, we have four times the population, hundred times college educated people, but we are the 10 to 100 times ex Feynman's, Einstein's, and all the other clever people. That's the question. Are they actually now in startups and in other fields? Why is it that we don't see so many of them? Or is there so much going on that uh, we are just uh, not seeing them as we used to see them? Similar way that uh, in the 80s and 60s and 70s and uh, earlier on, musicians, uh, it was easier to pinpoint the, the stars. Now there's so many of them. So it's just that we have so many of those already that no, no single one pops up and it requires quite a bit of uh, specialized knowledge also to recognize them. So they just don't get to the social media bubble anymore. College education has nothing to do with scientific innovation and may even be negatively correlated with scientific innovation as it introduces groupthink. So really, it's only population that's an issue. And I think that is very easily explained both by redirection into other fields, as well as innovation being below a certain threshold and being recognized as great in its time. And finally, I think the groupthink effect of colleges negatively contributes towards innovation and I think has been responsible for the stifling lack of innovation. Innovation as a finite quantity that you mine, I just find that highly suspect and uncreative. There's always been group thinking. There's always been the popular paths which uh, tend to give you the best career advances. So I'm not sure whether these are the actual explanations. There should be also more private funding available. It's easier to get your message out. So in a lot of fields, uh, it should be easier uh, to be an outlier and get innovative stuff done. So is it just that our expectations are going exponentially higher or is it that there's something else explaining this? Maybe regulation, some other things which are hindering the actual progress. <laughs> 